Hi, this is Dan York, and welcome to another edition of Emerging Tech Talk. In this show, I want to talk about the three pools of tools for developers to, to create voice applications. Now, some of this came out because we announced recently our acquisition of Voice Objects, a company based in Cologne, Germany, that has a Eclipse-based development environment for creating voice apps. So I had some questions around how does this fit in with the rest of Voxeo's tools as well as those in the larger industry. So today I want to talk about really the kind of three pools of tools that developers have and roughly I'll call them API-based telephony or communication, XML-based telephony, and tool-based telephony. But let's explain each of those. So API-based telephony is what we've had for years, decades in fact, and it is how do you interact with a telephony platform, a communications platform, using a, an application programming interface, an API? You know, you're, you've written a program in some programming language. You are connecting with some kind of API to a telephony platform, a communications platform, and you're causing some interaction, creating a telephone call, creating a conference call, uh, you know, doing whatever, pulling information from the, the uh, telephony platform's database, whatever it may be. You're doing something. You have some interaction. So it all occurs over this connection. Now, that connection between the program and the telephony platform could be anything. It could be uh, you know, an, a, an actual TCP IP socket. It could be an HTTP connection. It could be a, a you know, pick your protocol, whatever. There's some connection, but the point is there's a clear API. Now, the, program, the programmer developing this could use any kind of library. It could be something as raw as an actual SIP stack that somebody is using to actually go and issue SIP commands and they're programming down at the stack level, going in and actually mucking with the SIP messages themselves and all of that. It could be that. It could be something a bit higher level like, um, say, uh, SIP servlets, from, uh, which are Java apps running on a server. And this is one of our tools. We have, through our acquisition of Micro Method earlier this year in August, we now have a complete JSR 289 SIP servlet capability. And to explain that, let's, let's go back a little bit with Java. When Java first started, it was for creating applets, tiny little applications that ran in your web browser. So they were, and they were called applets, and they would be downloaded and run in your, in, your, um, in your browser. Well, along the way, people discovered that Java would be, work well on a server environment. And somewhere along the way, perhaps because you went from an application being an applet to a server, and it, somebody called it a servlet. I don't know the exact genesis of the name, and if somebody wants to send it in, I'd love to hear it. But anyway, a servlet is a Java app running on a server, which is then responding to some protocol. So for instance, HTTP servlets are widely used now for creating websites. All in Java, the server winds up communicating via, oh, uh, hmm, HTTP, right? So SIP servlets would use what? Yeah, you got it, SIP. So they are a way for you to create SIP communication sessions and do things with that um, using Java on a server. So if you look at that, if you look at what micromethod.com, what we've done is the guys there have created a SIP method base, a core, which provides the Java SIP servlet capability. And then on top of that, they've written some applications, like they have the SIP point server, which provides um, SIP proxies, registrar, IAM, presence, XCAP, other different things. You've got a full-fledged, basically, SIP server environment right there running on top of Java apps running on a server. You also have a UA toolkit. You can build your own soft phone, create your own user agent, a soft phone type of thing in, uh, in there. Have all sorts of things call you, again, using Java. So that's one way. There's a lot of other APIs out there. Pretty much, it's kind of a prerequisite here in late 2008 that if you're announcing a new voice over IP startup, a new telecom communication voice startup, whatever it is, uh, you've got to have an API must have API. It's written right there somewhere in the, in the conventions and press releases these days. And so everybody's coming out with an API, a bazillion different APIs, uh, probably most all of them non-standard, proprietary in some way, yada yada, that are out there. Some, like the SIP servlets, are standardized. Others are just whatever somebody comes up with. And the way you work with those could be, uh, it could be web interfaces, it could be, uh, you know, SOAP or, or RESTful interfaces. Uh, there's a lot of toolkits, a lot of libraries out there. The defining characteristic of API-based telephony is that you are creating a program in a programming language. So you're doing some development here in some language. Now, it might be C, C++, Java, uh, Ruby, Python. Uh, you per pick your language that you want, Flex, Flash, whatever it is. You're doing some development over here. You're communicating through a clearly defined, well, 
hopefully clearly defined API over to a telephony platform and making something happen. So that's API-based telephony, and that's, there's a huge number of options out there. There's also XML-based telephony, and that's what Voxeo has been doing for the last almost 10 years. And it came out of the, the kind of the genesis was people looked at all the API-based telephony and said, gosh, that's hard. So let's look at how we can do this, abstract it for web developers, so that the web developers who are used to writing apps in XML can go and do that and be able to go and quickly and easily create voice apps. So out of that, some of the first proprietary XML versions came out, very simple, very easy to use. Things like Voxeo's own Call XML, uh, some other ones out there, MSML, MSCML. And then there were the standardized ones, such as Voice XML and Call Control XML. And what's fascinating from an XML guy's perspective, XML has always been about document metadata, creating, you know, defining documents, essentially objects inside of XML. But what's happened with voice XML and CC XML, call XML, all of these, is that an execution logic has been applied and execution semantics have been applied into there. So it, you wind up with voice XML and call control XML. Actually, they're really programming languages. You can do all sorts of things. You have flow control. You have state. You have all sorts of different things you can do inside of them. And people are creating. Uh, conferencing sessions. People have created um, IPS, uh, PBX type things in CC XML. Now, this is probably perhaps running, making some XML purists run screaming out of the room, but it's, it's incredibly capable. Amazing things you can do with that. So that's XML-based telephony, and the defining characteristic there is that you're writing in XML. You're creating XML, you're doing that, you're generating the XML somehow, and you're going on from there. So the final care category, the final pool of tools, is what I'll call tool-based telephony. And these are graphical user interfaces that ex abstract all that code. You know, it's, look, Ma, no code here. So you can go and create voice apps very quickly and easily. If, you, if you're familiar with our tool set, if you go to our site, evolution.voxeo.com, create a free account, go in there, you'll see that we have a tool called Prophecy Designer. It's a very simple GUI. You can go in there. It's kind of like Microsoft Visio. You can create uh, call flows. You create what's the next step. Go on from there. Build your voice app without ever looking at a piece of voice XML, without ever looking at any kind of that, not caring or knowing about SIP or anything else like that. Very simple, very easy to use. And Prophecy Designer, which actually comes in our premise product as well, is a powerful tool for creating all sorts of applications. And for a certain class of application, it's, it's exactly what you need, and it will create all sorts of apps. What we've done now with voice objects is go a step higher than that and, and allow the rapid creation of incredibly complex applications. Uh, so you can use the voice objects environment to go and design amazing self-service apps, all sorts of different things that you can go and create with it. And, um, and we'll have some more tutorials and things around that in the months ahead in our site. But again, the defining element of this category is that you're using a GUI and you're not getting into dealing with code. And again, there's a lot of other ones in the industry. As a bonus as well with VO and with some of the others, they're integrated directly into the Eclipse framework, which a lot of developers are using for creating applications. So it fits in with the existing development tools that people may use as well. So API-based telephony for those who want to use libraries and, and program, you know, integrate voice apps directly into their programs so they're able to go and work with that. XML-based telephony for especially web developers who are used to working with XML and want to develop things in that environment at that higher level of abstraction. Or tool-based telephony for folks who don't want to muck with code at all and just want to design apps and make them strong, make them work, make them reusable, et cetera, et cetera. So you can pick your choice. Do you want to go at the API level? Do you want to work with XML? Do you want to work with a graphical tool? Whatever your choice is. And that's how the tools fit in for us. We have our SIP method and the JSR servlet side down there at the base level. We're, of course, all SIP to the core, so you could communicate directly with us via SIP if you wanted to. We're using other libraries, other elements that are out there. Um, you've got voice XML, CC XML, call XML to go and create that, and you can have either the simplicity of call XML or the standards and avoidance of vendor lock-in with voice XML and CC XML. And you can go on up into the tool-based telephony, and with Foxeo, you can use either our Prophecy Designer tool, or you can go and use the Voice Objects tool to go and develop apps. So I hope that helps give a tour of what the different pools of tools are out there. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at dyork at or leave a comment to the show post.
here at blogs.voxeo.com slash ETT. Thank you for your time.